Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Ellis, and today I want to talk about the interaction between the energy balance equation, that's calories in versus calories out, and diet composition. So it's been my argument, is my argument, that the energy balance equation, or calories, controls everything, but that diet composition has an important role to play in what happens within the the uh, calories in, calories out theory. And I want to describe that to you so you can see how, what type of food you eat will affect your own body and how it will impact upon the energy balance equation. And it, it will, it impacts directly on it. So, what was discovered early in the 1950s that when rats were fed a diet that was 100% carbohydrate, and they were underfed, meaning they should lose weight. But what actually happened is, well, they did, they did lose some weight, but at the expense of muscle tissue or lean tissue. Their bodies actually fattened up under the presence of a 100% carbohydrate diet. So that carbohydrate was very rapidly converted to body fat. We know that rats, and we now know that humans, convert most of their carbohydrate into fat in the adipose tissue and a little bit in the liver. For humans, about 2% of the carbohydrate to fat conversion occurs in the liver and the rest occurs in the adipose tissue. So these rats fed a high carbohydrate diet, converted that carbohydrate into fat, their bodies became fatter even though they were underfed in calories. So you can see the dramatic effect that diet composition has on the energy balance equation. So this is not an either or kind of thing. They are absolutely related. And you can't ignore that fact in your own efforts to control your own body fat level and your body weight. Now, in another study completed in about 1990, researchers here at the University of Pennsylvania put a group of rats on a high-fat, low-carb diet. 63% fat, 13% carbohydrate. And another group on the reverse of that. 13% fat and 63% carbohydrate. And they fed them this diet for 44 days. Now at the end of that experiment, the high-fat, low-carb rats weighed about 252 grams and the high carb, low fat group weighed 282 grams. So they were actually depositing fat on their body. And they were 23% body fat, whereas the high fat rat group were only 9% body fat percent. So you can see the dramatic difference that the diet composition had on the rat's weight and the rat's body fat percent. So it, it just, it, baffles me that our experts still recommend the high carbohydrate diet. It's just the worst thing you can do. The carbohydrates get rapidly converted to fat. The higher the amount of carbohydrates you eat, the more fat you will produce, even to the point where 100% of your calories fed as carbohydrate will lead to you getting fatter, even if you're underfed. So trying to reduce your calories, which is important, to lose weight, lose body fat, will work to some degree, except that you'll be working at odds with yourself if you're on a high carbohydrate diet. You've got to go into the calorie re fat restricted mode to make this work. And it's my argument that just begins to work at 25% of total daily calories as carbohydrate, and it will work much better if you get it down around 10 to 15 percent. This is the only way you can stop the body from converting those carbohydrates to fat, is to eliminate them or remove them or get them down so they're not around. So these facts of science and of body composition confirm how dangerous the high carbohydrate diet is. And that's the diet that most people follow, believing that it's both healthy for them and will help them meet their weight loss and body composition goals. It won't. You'll be 
you'll be fighting yourself the whole time. So this is, these are important facts to understand. This is what the basic science tells us. The arguments that can be had about this. So all those people who might want to say that the high carbohydrate diet is good for you are defining what actually happens in the body itself via its biochemistry. And we're all controlled by our biochemistry. So that is a fact that must not be ignored. So if you want to get your body fat down, get your carbohydrates down and that'll work, then you can use the whole calories in, calories out thing, or you can use that primarily, but you can supplement that by the use of diet composition. So they do interact, they do work together, and that's an important thing to understand. That the calorie theory is valid, but it can be perturbed by the effects of diet composition. So that's the information you need today to succeed at your body weight and body fat percent goals. I'm Dr. Greg Ellis.